I'm gonna start right at your neck, literally your neck. So you're gonna put this, you're gonna lay flat on your back, literally right on your neck, right here. All you're doing is rolling your neck side to side, that's it. We're gonna fly, we're only gonna do these for a couple seconds each. We're not gonna do a full amount that you need to do because you could do each of these for how much you need to, to get like knots out. Right away, you're gonna move it to your upper back. So you're like in a bridge, like your upper to middle back. First, we're gonna keep our butt on the floor and so it's in your upper back and we're actually just gonna reach back and roll over the top of it to open up your upper back. That should feel pretty good on your upper back. Come up and breathe. Then you keep, keep your butt on the floor, don't, don't lift your hips up. Then we're gonna bring our arms out to the side and do the same thing. And then come up. Now we're gonna go hands up overhead again. Here, while we're stretching it, bring them out and down to your side. Back up and overhead and up. Now we're gonna start out to the side. Come out to the side, get the stretch out to the side. Come all the way up, reach overhead. Bring them back out to the side and up. Now keep it in the same spot in your back. Now you're lifting your butt off the floor and we're gonna roll from your lower back all the way to your upper back. The full length, like right from the base of your neck almost, almost getting to your traps, all the way down to your lower back before it rolls off. One more time. You could do these a lot longer. We're just gonna run through each of these quick. Now get in your upper middle back. There's a little muscle right here we're looking for, right there. So always knot it up on people. So you're gonna be in your upper back. You're trying to find it. You're gonna kind of tilt towards it, reach your arms, maybe around your arms to stick that muscle out and just dig it in. You'll know when you find it. It's gonna be tight on you if you're doing any kind of exercise or lifting weights. You're kind of tilting to your right. There should be a knot there. Anyone not finding it? Switch over to the left, same thing. One side will probably be tighter than the other. Done, so now we're going to the glutes. We're working our way down. So we did neck, bam, bam, working our way down. Sit up on top of it with your butt. You're gonna cross your right, both knees are bent 90 degrees. You're gonna cross your right leg over your left. So it's getting a stretch here, first of all. The leg that's up on top is the side we're gonna turn into and roll on. So you're not gonna do this and then roll on this side because that's not what we're, we're purposely opening this side up just to roll on that side. I like to drop down to the elbow, whatever, wherever you can find a spot to roll, elbow's gonna work better. And you're rolling the upper, outer part of your glute. And while you're doing this, everyone's different, the way they're shaped different. You might need to tilt left, tilt right, tilt forward, tilt back. There's a little slab, you'll, the shape right here. When you find the right spot, you'll probably know it. It's probably tight. Play around with it. Look for the, you're looking for the pain. You're looking for tenderness. If it's not pain or tender, you're, look, you're searching around for it. Once you find that trigger in that spot, then you're going to go back and forth over it a couple times, kind of dig it out. Then go the full length of the muscle a couple times. Look for some more tight spots. When you find it, one inch back and forth, dig it out like a rolling pin on pizza dough. Switch over to the other side. So now cross the left leg over the right. Tilt into the left side and roll upper outer part of your left glute. If you could do it, get down into your form. It's gonna get you those angles better onto that muscle. You're gonna find it better. It's gonna hurt more probably, but because you're, taking, you're putting, taking less weight off. Tilt, to lean left, to lean right, find those spots. They're gonna be in there. Done. So we're going next. Now front of your quads. So we're just working our way down. We're going to the front of your quads. You're just gonna get like in a plank position from your knee to your hip. Think of your knee to your hip. Just find like a spot that's dead center between your knee and your hip. Because then your elbows need to line up directly under your shoulders. You need to find a spot that now I can roll from right above my knee to right below my hip without having to move my hands. Because if I started, say, high on my hip to get there, look, I'd have to come here and do all this crawling shit. So start dead centering your thigh with your hands under here and you'll be able to roll the full length right from your upper hip to boom, right, right above your knee, back and forth. So this is the front of your thigh. Now take one side, turn it out. We're looking for this little spot right in here. There's a little tiny muscle here. You're gonna find it. You'll know when you find this one too. It's a bet, usually a bad one. Dig in there, find it. It's like right above your knee to the out inner. If I'm not seeing grimaces or hearing pain, you probably didn't find it. Now put the right side flat and turn the left side out or whatever side you didn't do and roll that inner, lower inner thigh. This is the stuff you dig out. It's gonna make your knees feel better, make your legs stronger, faster, jump higher, better range of motion in all your exercises. All right, we're going right to a side plank. Same thing now, we're gonna need to get, we're going here. So you need this to be halfway between your knee and your hip. 
I like to stack my feet and go in the air. If it's too much pressure on your thigh, put this top foot bent over the top, because then look, I can lift as much weight as I need to off it if it's too painful. So now again, this elbow can't move. Find that spot that I can roll from my, right above my knee to right below my hip. And just roll the full length, the side of your leg. This one should be a bad one also, if you're, especially if you're stacking your feet. Most of you probably won't even be able to handle stacking your feet. That's why all your feet are on the floor. <laughs> you gotta work on that shit. And flip over to the other side. Same thing, you have to get it dead center between your knee and your hip and your elbow lined up directly under your shoulder and that's gonna put you in the perfect spot to not have to crawl your elbow in and out. So you can go right below your hip to right above your knee. Full length. And then there, if still if it's too much, then there's lower density and higher density. There's ones with knobs and there's Z's that are just pure solid that would dig in. Once you get to the right spot, you should be having to go higher up in density all the time to dig in there. Like those little black foam rollers do nothing for me anymore, nothing. It's like a marshmallow. <laughs> Done. I'm gonna go hamstrings now. This one's a little harder to get, but same thing. Think about going the middle from your knee to your hip. You have to kind of hold yourself up in the air. Plus, it's usually not enough weight. Unless your hamstrings are super sore from like a day of hard training, you would do it this way. Otherwise, you need to cross one leg over above your knee. Not here, or you're gonna put too much pressure on your kneecap. Above your knee and kind of dig, almost press down to get extra weight onto that, and then roll the hamstring. Because usually your hamstring won't feel it enough unless you're they're super sore from like a, a training session. And then right away flip it. If someone can't, it's kind of a weird position on their shoulders, you just skip this one if you have to, if they can't handle it. Or they could put their butt on the floor and kind of just wedge their butt back and forth because some people won't be able to hold themselves up. It's not really the best position on your shoulders. Done. And you go to calves. Same thing, unless your calves are sore. So now you should be from the, in between your ankle and your knee, halfway down behind your leg, right here. Same thing, hold yourself up and roll. Probably not gonna be enough tension because it's a weird position. So now cross middle of your shin below your knee right here and press down with that almost to dig it in, press it in. And then you should be able to dig into that calf a lot better. Press down, switch sides. Press down with that top leg, all the way from right above your ankle to right below your knee. Roll it. There's plenty of other ones you can do with these, but those are just the basics that we usually run through. So that's it for the foam roller.